Using BrightSign's Ethernet sync capabilities allows us to create an impressive multi-screen presentation using synchronized playback across all screens. These video walls are an excellent way to deliver an unforgettable message to any audience and can easily be implemented using BrightAuthor. Let's learn how to set this up. A fundamental concept in this setup is that one BrightSign unit will act as the master unit and all other units will slave to the master. For the purpose of this instruction, we'll refer to the slave units as followers. It's best to think about approaching the task in two parts. One, setting up the master unit presentation, and two, setting up the follower units to follow the master unit's presentation. The first thing to do in our setup is to ensure that all units involved in our presentation are using matching ports. If they are not, our units will not be able to communicate with each other to create a sync. Using BrightAuthor, we can set the port assignments for each unit by going to File, Presentation Properties. Under the Interactive tab, we'll set our UDP ports to any number we like. We just need to ensure that our follower units are set to receive on the same port number as our master unit has assigned for the outgoing or destination port. Secondly, even though BrightSign's multi-screen synchronized displays don't require an internet connection, we will need to determine if an IP address needs to manually be set on our master unit or not, depending on how our units are connected. We will need to manually set IP address if we have two units connected directly to each other using one Ethernet cable, two or more units connected to a hub or switch not part of an existing network, or two or more units connected to an existing network with no DHCP. Manually setting an IP address can either be done by plugging the master unit into a live internet connection at least once while running the presentation, or by running a script that BrightSign can provide to manually assign it an IP address. The manual IP address assignment script can be downloaded from the BrightSign support site. We will not need to manually set the master unit's IP address if we have two or more units connected to a router or two or more units connected to an existing network with DHCP. Now let's set up the master unit using BrightAuthor. First, we'll select our playlist type to be interactive. In this example, we'll use a timeout event to start a multi-screen presentation. We'll set this up like a normal timeout triggered video presentation. Using a graphic as our initial state, we'll then set up a timeout event of 30 seconds. This initial graphic state will allow for the follower units to get up and running while waiting for the master unit's first sync command, which will start the video playback of our first video. From there, we'll also set up a connection to play a second video at the end of the first video. Then, using the media end event, we can send the presentation back to the first video when the second video is complete, setting the unit to basically loop through the videos. So that much we already knew for creating a playlist. But here's the key step in creating a synchronized presentation. We'll add a command to the timeout event by double-clicking it and selecting the synchronize command. We can actually tie a synchronize command to any event that happens in our presentation. A new picture loading, a button push, or, as in our example, a timeout event. After double-clicking and selecting synchronize, we'll add a value to be sent with the command. This can be anything we'd like it to be. We just need to remember what we use for later. We'll use first video as an example. So now, when 30 seconds have passed on our timeout event, the synchronize command with a value of first video will be sent out of our master BrightSign unit to our follower units. We'll set those follower units to play their intended synchronized video when receiving that message. To finish our master presentation, we'll set the other events to send synchronized commands also. This will keep our displays working tightly together as one presentation, since our sync commands will be sent often from unit to unit. Now that our synchronization commands are set for our master presentation, we can move on to set up our follower unit presentation. We'll also start with an initial state image, and then add our first video to be played, similar to our master setup. The difference in setting this up is that instead of responding to a timeout event, we want this follower unit to listen for a command from the master unit to proceed to the first video. We'll select the synchronize event and link from our initial state to the first video. The synchronization keyword in this window will be the command that we chose earlier to be sent from the master unit, first video. 
Make sure that what you input here exactly matches what you used previously. We also have an option of what state to proceed to when the command is received. We'll keep it set to this first synced video. Now when our master unit sends the synchronization command and starts playback of our first video, our follower unit, which is listening for the command, will proceed and also play its first video at the same time. The two units will start their videos in sync. Likewise, we can set the subsequent videos to listen for the command from the master unit to proceed to the next video. One thing to note, to ensure tight, synchronized playback of our videos across all synchronized screens, we need to make sure that the videos on both the master and the follower units are exactly the same length. Following this convention, we can assign any event, movie, or image on our follower units to be triggered from events within our master unit. Now that we have created and published both the master and follower presentations, when powering up the BrightSign units, our synchronized playback will automatically play. You can imagine the possibilities. Creating video walls, presentations that move from one screen to another, running identical presentations at the same time in different parts of your establishment, or even synchronizing dynamic information to show on one screen while a full motion video shows on another. All in perfect synchronization.